Sona Monica, an English language educator. And today I would like to speak about the project which is called Education Without Borders. You may wonder why I chose this topic. I chose it because Education Without Borders tackles all global issues. I live in a developing country. But I realize and make my students realize that in order to thrive and fight against poverty, hunger, unemployment, global warming and other global issues, my students should not only be a citizen of their country but a global citizen because everything that surrounds us is global. Our food, economy, environment, society, religion, and many, many other things. That is why we, educators, should educate and develop the young students to be global citizens. In order to develop global citizens, the teacher himself or herself should be a global educator and give students the education that will prepare them for living and working in this rapidly changing world. Thus, they should get global education. So, what is global education? It is education without borders. We know that all humans are created equal. Education without borders protects the rights of all people to live. All humans need to be educated. We know that nowadays our world is facing many challenges. The issues that need solutions are endless. The violation of human rights in some countries such as Africa, India, Afghanistan and Bosnia, this list is endless. The violation of human rights is serious, and this is a growing concern. Let's take Syria. Now Syria is at war. Syrian orphans, children, women, they need basic necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, medical care, and most of all, education. As a result of poverty and marginalization, today more than 72 million children in the world remain unschooled. Let's take kids with special needs. They are neglected all over the world because the institutions don't have either the facilities for them or when these kids go to these institutions, they suffer their stigma, isolation and discrimination. Do you know that every year Dubai holds Education Without Borders Forum? And what is the aim of this forum? It is Global Learning Program. I am myself involved in this program. And now let me go into details. Global Learning Program is education for a fair and sustainable world, which is free of poverty, where all humans are treated with respect and dignity, and where individuals, communities, businesses and countries behave and develop in a way that meets to the needs of the present. Which are the concepts of the program? They are interculturalism, children's rights, environment and sustainability, fair trade, climate change, social justice, wealth and power, 
conflict, human rights, poverty and hunger, and aid. So, what is my mission in the sphere of education without borders? My mission as a teacher is, first of all, to empower global education and develop global citizens. Number two, to raise awareness of global issues and encourage action towards social change. Number three, assist both local community groups and international groups. And number four, organize events, deliver trainings, produce publications, and a wide range of resources to target groups in the formal and non-formal educational centers. It was this mission that motivated me to become a member of a twinning community. Microsoft Partners in Learning community T alumni community, IELTA community, and BEO alumni community. Now let me clarify. What is T? T is Teaching Excellence and Achievement Program funded by the U.S. Department of State and IRECS. What is IELTA? IELTA is the Association of English Language Teachers in Armenia and my responsibilities there are not only train teachers in Yerevan, but also train teachers in remote regions. And what is BEO? It is British English Olympics program, which is funded by Oxford International Group. Working alongside with these organizations, I try to make education available to children. My cooperation and membership in these sectors offers children and young people the opportunity to make friendships and connect firsthand with their peers in another part of the world and gain a greater understanding of where they live, how they live, the challenges that they face and how they address these challenges. The training programs I conduct and the projects that I do are centered around bringing an international learning and global dimension into the classroom and the wider school community. And these projects help me realize my mission of education without borders. Thus, in conclusion, I would like to add that through education without borders, I can make a difference. And so can you, by the way. I'm more than sure of it. And together we can create a sustainably thriving world by developing and educating ourselves and our students as responsible global citizens and effective change agents. I feel very optimistic that my vision for a better world is safe in the hands of a caring and active generation. This was the topic I wanted to introduce to you, Education Without Borders, and thank you for your attention.